Can bananas conduct electricity and be used to make fresh new music? To find out, I'm using one of my favorite science toys, which consists of alligator clips, a microcontroller powered circuit board, a basic piano app, and of course, bananas. Do you think we'll be able to make some music using bananas? Nicole, do you want to try? Come on up. OK. Oh, you got to hold this, because you got to close the circuit. Oh, OK. Now, as I some, do. go ahead. <laughs> Here's how it works. You plug the circuit board into a computer, which thinks the circuit is a USB keyboard. When you complete the circuit through the bananas or anything electrically conductive, the computer thinks a key has been pressed. Play us a song from the public domain, Nicole. It's not a perfect piano, but it's a, it's a piano. Pretty, it's a bananio. I love how hyped you are on this. A small amount of electricity flows from the laptop, our power source, to the bananas. Bananas are conductive because they have a lot of water in them. Bananas are about 74% water. With a circuit conducting through the bananas, the piano app reads the signal as a piano key. I'm Beethoven in another life. Exactly, exactly. Water contains ions which allow electricity to move through it. But electricity must flow in a circular path. To complete the circuit back to the computer, the electricity is conducted through Nicole's fingers. There you go. There you go. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be doing this all day. I'm, I'm not gonna work anymore. Oh my god. She's starting her new career. So here's something to think about. Since both human beings and bananas are largely made of water, we're both conductive and electricity can pass right through us. Just one more thing that humans and bananas have in common. Yes, that's sick. I believe that was in the key of vitamin C. It was in the key of vitamin C. Or vitamin K. Vitamin K, I guess, would be. Yeah.